There have been 862 episodes of Doctor Who broadcast to date. My mission, for every single one, say something nice. Hello dear viewers and welcome back to another episode of Say Something Nice. We're jumping forward just a couple of years for Remembrance of the Daleks Part 3. Remembrance of the Daleks Part 3 got 5.1 million viewers. And the moment I'm picking from this, it's a little bit cheeky and it's something I didn't even remember was in the episode until I got the DVD. This of course is a story full of great moments and so it's kind of hard to pick something unique that hasn't been discussed a lot before. But something I want to draw attention to, which I think may not be to everyone's cup of tea, is the Doctor's fourth wall break at the end of the episode. Pardon me. Doctor Who doesn't do fourth wall breaks very often where a character will turn out to the screen and address the audience, but they tend to be some of the most discussed moments, usually in sort of I can't believe they did that ways. Things like, and a Merry Christmas to all of you at home, and even the sonic screwdriver won't get me out of this one. The particular moment here is just after the Doctor has finished saying that the Dalek shuttle won't touch down anywhere near the school. And then of course it does, it blows the windows in, in an amazing effect, and of course the shuttle itself is a physical one-to-one -one construction of a Dalek shuttle that was lowered in on a crane, it looks absolutely brilliant. And then instead of the episode ending on a sort of, oh no, what do we do now moment, the Doctor just looks up straight down the camera and says, I think I might have miscalculated. And it's not in the cliffhanger reprise, which makes me think the production team went, okay, okay, we're being cheeky here, let's not, <laughs> let's not over egg it. But I really love it because it's a moment that could have been very scary for young viewers, like the windows being blown in. If that had been the last shot, a young viewer at home could have thought that the Doctor had been blown up. So it tells younger viewers at home, no, 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 the Doctor's okay, it's fine. It provides a bit of levity. It also fits in with Sylvester McCoy's characterization as the Doctor. You know, every episode starts with him winking out of the, out of the title sequence, which I know a lot of people don't like as well. But I laughed out loud when I saw it on the DVD. I think my off-air VHS copy must have had the cliffhangers edited out. For those of you who may have recorded on videotape, did you ever stop just before the cliffhanger when you were queuing up the tape so that hopefully it went seamlessly into the reprise? So I'm guessing that's what our VHS copy was like, which is why I didn't remember this moment. But it did make me laugh, and not in a, oh god, I can't believe they did that sort of way, but in a genuinely, that's funny kind of way. And I really appreciated it. It's a stupid moment, it's daft, and it's just terribly Doctor Who. And that's why the fourth wall break is something really nice about Remembrance of the Daleks Part 3. I mean, look at me, I can't stop smiling. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to, to like, share, and subscribe. Really helps the channel grow, especially the thumbs ups. But whatever you do, have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next video.